Hey there folks, Rel here. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I would actually like to give you some commentary on actual gameplay, which if you've uh, been a part of my channel for a long time, it's something I don't normally do. But I'm actually going to use this video as a reference base for some things that I want to um, to describe in a new Drifter Jump Jet video that I'm uh, currently working on. And I, there was a Drifter Jump Jet review in the past, but uh, there's so many things that I just did not get around to saying that I would definitely like to um, like to do this time around. So, like I said, this is some gameplay commentary. Uh, indoors, uh, using a shotgun, it's the piston. I have rank 2 Drifter Jump Jets, and this is at Vanu Archives. So, people uh, usually... Uh, well, actually, including myself, uh, I mentioned it in the first uh, the review of Drifter Jump Jets. We don't normally consider drifters as... Uh, well, actually, a lot of people consider them not useful at all, which isn't the case. But uh, And especially not useful at lower ranks. At max rank, so rank 5, you'll get 30 seconds of juice. But at, uh, at lesser ranks, like uh, rank 2, like I'm using, um, it's just not that much. Maybe, you know, 8 seconds or something. Um, I, I will have the legitimate numbers as soon as as soon as I'm done uh, with the review but uh, but yeah so what you can use drifter jump jets for though is working a really really nice ground game because you're gonna get a lot of uh, maneuverability which is which is what I think that drifter jump jets were really intended for so regardless of uh, of uh, what level they are you can you can make some. You can do a lot more with uh, with drifters than you than you can with uh, just like running around. Um, well, right now, uh, you know, you could be doing uh, that sort of sort of parachute dive, you know, with standard jump jets, and that's fine. I actually want to explain what I'm doing here. This is the C spawn, which controls a teleporter. Uh, it's just me and another guy against. I don't even know how many TR. I don't know where they're responding from, but I needed to come down here and kind of uh, or kind of disrupt the flow of things, which is what capturing this point will do, as uh, Terran won't be able to teleport directly up to me. Um, so it'll it'll kind of slim down the uh, the flow, and I'll be able to handle them on a more uh, reasonable basis instead of having like four guys, you know, camping me. Um, yeah, so a lot of. Uh, a lot of this gameplay is going to do with uh, with drifting around corners, like I'll, I'll mention here. You know, just just minor drift. Oh, you know what? I'm actually going to pause the video here. So on the right hand side, you're going to see a brick of C4 next to that console, which is a smart decision for the line assaults that are playing, because as soon as they see the the point uh, start to flicker and get taken, they just detonate the C4, which ends up happening. Um, and that's one of the main reasons that I like to stay away from this nook if I can help it. Because uh, you can capture the point, you know, without being right inside of it. That and proximity mines. So, also this gives me the versatility to dive into cover if I see or hear a threat approaching. So I'm going to start uh, start the video again. You'll notice, boom, goes off. So I'm going to be capturing the point. And I'm playing like a spaz because that's... That's <laughs> that's like how I play. I, I'm listening left and right to see where uh, where the threat is coming from. You know, and I can hear them. This guy's firing down here. Take care of an extreme menace infiltrator. And yeah, it's just uh, listening to the noise. Especially since Drifter Jump Jets, or any Jump Jets, have uh, greatly increased audio. Which is kind of unfortunate, because I always viewed Drifters as uh, sort of a stealth tool as well. But now I'm definitely going to have to use them more as a ground game like I'm doing in this video. And you'll notice that I'm trying not to take confrontation, uh, confrontations head on. Like right here, I'm going to kill this guy and then I'm going to run from the heavy. Because, uh, you know, you don't want to fight in that sort of 2 versus 1 scenario. It gives me time to reload. I can hear them up top, kind of shuffling around. And uh, now that there is so many Terran again, I'm actually going to drop down and uh, disrupt that capture point again. And this is something that um, just the, the sort of gameplay, you know, the skating around, it's something that you can't really do well with the, uh, with the standard jump jets. And because you always have that vertical motion, so it's, it's predictable in a sense that, uh, that people know when you're going to hammer on the thrusters, they're going to go up. And that's... 
it's completely, it's very, very difficult to pin down somebody who has standard jump jets uh, if you're not expecting it. Because upward motion is something that we don't compensate for. We compensate for the left and the right, uh, you know, on a normal basis, on a normal ground fight. But, yeah, so uh, here actually there's, you know, I'm just listening for footsteps before I peek out because you don't want to run into anything unexpected. So we're going to be looking around a little bit more right here. I'm going to fly right over this guy's head. Now this is uh, a great part of Drifters is that um, you can move forward. Well, uh, you, you can move in one direction and kind of skate there, you know, hover, and then you can spin like a top or like a turret. So you don't have to be looking in the same direction that you'd like to fly. Um, then we got two campers up here. I'm going to scare them off. Yeah, it's unfortunate that I didn't kill him. I'm actually going to toss a grenade, grenade to do the same thing. You know, scare him. Uh, I'm very surprised when I actually do some partial damage. And that'll let me use the elevator and make it out with uh, with only getting shot once. Um, and anything that gives you a vertical height is very beneficial. So the, the stairs or even just the, the standard jump or like jumping on a console and jumping off. It's, it's what makes uh, drifters actually viable. You know, when you have uh, things like the elevator, it's just so easy to abuse because you get a lot of um, horizontal motion instead of the vertical. So if uh, or the vertical is provided and then the drifters emphasize the, the horizontal motion. So that makes it uh, makes you more maneuverable. All right, now I'm going to pause it here again. Uh, this is the end of the video. I'm going to ruin it for you. I'm sorry, but there was a uh, there's a claymore kind of just chillaxing. And I'm going to do something very stupid that ends my streak, but uh, because I got too cocky, too overconfident, so here, take a look. Yeah, not so much shooting at the heavy. <laughs> I was shooting at the claymore because I was being cocky and I wanted to blow up the claymore, which would blow up the heavy, you know, in theory, but uh, but that didn't happen. So, so yeah, this ends my streak. Um, Ivano Archives actually ends up getting taken and... Uh, which is funny because I thought that I actually had a really good shot at um, at soloing, you know, this whole like uh, the small squad of invaders. Uh, yeah, but it, you know, it's all in good fun. But that is what I have to say about drifters. Hopefully, this has been somewhat educational because a lot of people will say, "Oh, you know, drifters suck because there's no you know vertical motion," which actually isn't entirely true. And I will talk about in the uh, I'll talk about that in re the review, but. They're more, they're definitely a different playstyle. I mean, you can look at uh, at the standard jump jets as, uh, you know, trying to circumvent enemy defenses like walls or whatever the case is. But, uh, but drifters are for people who know how to work a ground game and are using this to complement in that sort of ability. But yeah, completely different playstyles. Uh, that's all I've got for you, I think. Uh, if this video has been interesting or helpful, please feel free to like, subscribe, and tell your friends about the channel. Thanks very much, folks. Rel signing off.